Hello, myself Ganesh from KKVAG Institute of Engineering Education and Research Nashik welcomes you on the next YouTube video. It is based on MCQ discussions on electrostatics. So what are the learning outcome of this session? At the end of this session, the learner will be able to discuss the theoretical concept of electrostatics, capacitance, its charging and discharging. Okay, so let's let's start with the first MCQ. The capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor does not depends on area of plate, medium uh, between the plates, distance between the plate and material of the plate. Okay, so we have to discuss it. Okay, so what is the formula? In, in such cases, you must remember the formula. What is the formula of the capacitance? The capacitance is equal to epsilon 0, epsilon r a into d. For this, you can refer my YouTube uh, video, uh, initial, uh, previous YouTube video based on the electrostatics. So kindly subscribe my channel and uh, place the bell icon to get the next updates. Okay, so the capacitance between the plate is is depending upon the area it depends on the relative permittivity and it depends on the distance between the plate so we can conclude here that it does not depend on the metal of the plate okay so what is the type of the metal which you are using here so it is not does not depend on this so this is the correct option because it, it is asked does not depends on the okay then the next one is the most commonly equivalent convenient way of achieving the large capacitor by using the dis, uh, distance between the plate so by using uh, decreasing the distance also we can achieve the uh, higher capacitance by increasing the area of the plate we can achieve the capacitor uh, air as a dielectric medium uh, obviously air when you are using air as a dielectric medium relative permeability is one hence the capacitance values is get decreased but the good option is what multi multi uh, multiplate capacitance in case of multiplate capacitance so suppose if you see the construction diagram of the multiplate capacitor so here I am desc describing the uh, how many plates are here 1 2 3 4 5 so if you design the one capacitor with the same area and with the same distance suppose the capacitance value is c1 and the same capacitance if you design with the same area and same distance between the plane then the equivalent capacitance is n minus 1 epsilon 0 epsilon r a upon d that is c equivalent in this case this is a 5 plate so it is a 5 minus 1 earlier value when we are using the two plate capacity is a c1 so it increases the four times so multiple uh, multiplate construction is the good option uh, the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor uh, depends on okay so how on, on what factor it is depends on see that it does it, it potential difference between the plate distance between the plate the type of the metal use so it is does not depend on the type of metal it does not depend on the potential it does not depend on the thickness of the plate so thickness it is not depend on the thickness of the plate i am not asking the thickness of dielectric but it depends between the distance between the plate that is the thickness of dielectric it depends on the thickness of uh, pla uh, thickness uh, distance between the plate you can say it is also thickness of dielectric thickness of dielectric so this is the correct option here now next is what is the correct expression of voltage okay so voltage is defined as bringing a unit positive charge from the infinite distance from infinite distance to a particular point d okay so from the infinite distance to the particular point d uh, when the char charge of q capacity when the charge of q uh, coulomb is place so we are bringing this charge from infinity distance towards the point a so work done by this charge to reaching this point a is nothing but the uh, nothing but the voltage nothing but the potential difference so this va potential difference is nothing but the rate of work done by the unit positive by the charge so it is a dw by dq on this unit positive charge so option is c option is the correct over here so hope you got it hope you got it okay so let's move to the next one hope you are enjoying okay so next question is what the capacitance between the plates increases with 
okay so shorter plate area shorter distance between them shorter plate area higher applied voltage larger plate area shorter distance between the them larger plate area longer distance between the plate and higher applied voltage so you can see here the capacitance is depending upon a and d suppose a is increases and d is decreases a is the plate area and d is the distance between the plate so distance is decreasing and area is increasing that that means value of the capacitance is increases means the large capacitance plate with the shorter distance between the them will increase the value of the capacitance let's move the further we want to uh, match the pairs between group 1 and group 2 so in the group 1 electrical flux is given so unit of the electrical flux in the second group the units are given so electrical flux is nothing but the charge its unit is coulomb Uh, then electrical flux density is given by charge upon area so charge is measured in the coulomb and area is measured in meter square so coulomb per meter square then uh, electrical uh, flux uh, intensity electrical flux intensity is nothing but the voltage divided by distance so volt per meter and epsilon 0 that is absolute permittivity is measured in terms of farad per meter so for fourth option a is correct for fourth option a is correct means between these two there is uh, uh, there may be the correct answer for third uh, electrical flux intensity which option is correct the d option is correct means you can you can see this option is correct so c option is correct in this case now moving towards moving towards the next one the electrical uh, the relation between the electrical display electrical displacement or you can say it is the density d and the electrical field intensity e in a given media so d is epsilon 0 epsilon r into e so it is measured in terms of coulomb per uh, meter square so here here you will observe that the d is equal to epsilon 0 epsilon r into e or you can say d is equal to absolute permittivity of that media into electrical field intensity so the correct answer is again here c okay now next is the the time constant of the rc circuit is defined as the time during which the capacitor charging current becomes uh, dash dash of its of its dash dash value okay so during the charging side so if you see the charging so this is the charging characteristic so vc is equal to v uh, 1 minus e raised to minus t by rc this is the final voltage so when the capacitor voltage is reaches to the 63% of the final value so 63% of the final value so here it is a 63% and here it is the final value so the option c is correct in this case okay so you must be able to uh, uh, able to uh, judge this judge it from the graph so let's discuss the next question how will calculate the energy stored in the capacitor so energy stored in the capacitor is given by 1 half cv square but we know that q is equal to cv so using this relation i can say c is equal to v upon q so c is equal to v upon q so substituting uh, uh, c is equal to q upon v rather it is q upon v so substituting that q into v it will become the 1 half qv so 1 half cv square is also correct 1 half qv is also correct so if i replace this v by if i replace this v by q by c then it will become a 1 half q square into q cube into v so q cube into c square so this uh, q cube into c square so here options are wrong so you can say this is this all of this option is correct so you can check this option this option is wrong i think given in this uh, in this okay so for the capacitor in series dash dash remains same for all of them and capacitor in parallel uh, remains same so when the capacitor is in series the charge so see the charge q is same as the charge on capacitor q1 same as on capacitor q so q1 is equal to q is equal to q1 is equal to q2 and v is equal to v1 plus v2 and in parallel plate if you observe q is equal to charge by q1 and charge by q2 so q1 plus q2 is a total q but total voltage is nothing but v1 is equal to v2 is equal to applied voltage so here the charge is remain same and here the voltage is remain same so charge and voltage is the correct option so option b is correct dash dash has a no unit so we know that relative permittivity 
permittivity is nothing but the absolute permittivity of any medium divided by absolute permittivity of the air so it is it is it is given in terms of farad per meter it is given in terms of farad per meter so farad per meter farad per meter or it is d, d divided by d0 when uh, your uh, intensity is remain same in the both media so uh, this is a unitless quantity so relative permittivity is the correct option the dielectric strength is measured in so dielectric strength is nothing but the ability to ability of the dielectric material to withstand with the voltage and and it is measured in terms of what is the applied voltage between them and what is the distance it is inversely proportional to distance so kv per meter or kv per centimeter so voltage divided by distance is the correct formula voltage divided by distance is the correct formula hence it is the kilo volt per centimeter if the dielectric plate capacitor is replaced by the conductor acting material so what will happen if this is the dielectric material in between this capacitor and this will form the capacitance c but if suppose you you fill this capacitance with the conducting so this plate and this plate will get shorted okay so due to the conducting material it gets shorted hence the plates will get shorted dash dash is factor uh, dash dash is not the factor affecting the dielectric strength see capacitance values is decreases with increase in temperature increase in moisture uh, decreasing the insulation resistance but it does not depends on the size and shape of the capacitor so the correct option is the size and shape of the capacitor okay so in the rc uh, in the time constant so how will calculate the time constant in rc circuit the time constant in rc circuit is rc and in time constant in rl circuit is r by l the two capacitor uh, each having the capacitance c and the breakdown voltage v are connected in series the capacitance and breakdown voltage of the combination will be so when two capacitors are connected in series so equivalent is equal to c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 but cc values are same so it is a c into c divided by 2c so you can say it is a c by 2 so capacitance value will be get half Applied voltage breakdown voltage is V for this applied voltage also breakdown voltage V so total voltage rating will become a twice V hence the correct option is C and here uh, okay so correct option is R C the capacitor the capac uh, in a capacitor the electrical charge is stored in so electrical charge is generally stored in the metal plates okay so it it, it will be to store on the metal plates absolute permittivity so absolute permittivity we know that the absolute permittivity e is d upon e so from this formula you can determine it is the d upon e option c is correct a dielectric medium must be it should not be conductor it should not be resistor it should not be semiconductor it must be insulating material when two charges are play, placed at the certain distance apart a brass sheet is placed between them what will be the force between them okay so between the two capacitor plate if you uh, between the two charge bodies okay so suppose this is a charge and charge if you press the brass between between them obviously brass is not brass is what a conducting material so due to the conducting material it act like like a short circuit hence the uh, force between them is decreases okay so hope you understand these 20 mcqs clearly so in the next video we will discuss the another mcq based on the theoretical concept okay thank you